What's up everyone? Dapper here. We're back playing some more Marble World. Today is a great day because Marble World just got a huge update. As you can see here, we can now race marbles. So this is going to be super awesome. I'm really excited for this. As you can see, I already put some marbles down and I'm just going to test it right now. So all the marbles spawn up here. I just gave them random names, <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, you know. And uh, now we are going to race them down this little straight that I have just for a little test. And uh, let's see what's going on. So uh, I can start the race by pushing this button here. Here we go. The race is about to start. And now I'm going to click this hotkey, which will auto follow the leader and we can actually switch between which marbles we follow uh, it's kind of hard to see which one i'm looking at because obviously it's a straight track and not much was going on there but that's super awesome look at this we've got times for all of them so this finished in eight seconds i think that means 8.7 seconds and then uh plus you know six seven milliseconds whatever anyway we could see when each of the marbles finish we get a nice little final results here and we could see a came in first obviously because it it started up front so we are gonna have to make a track that can allow the marbles to pass each other that is one thing since uh though a will always start here I guess A will always get that little bit of advantage, but that could definitely change if we throw a bunch of things on the track or if we just have like a little, a really long track. Anyway, we can also do laps. So it's pretty cool. We got these checkpoints here. We can actually make a circle and I actually haven't tested that yet and I kind of want to now. So let me go ahead and set up a kind of an oval track just so we can see how the laps works. Okay, so as you can see, I set up a tiny little oval here, and uh, it's tiny, and I put a bunch of boosters all over the place because it is a flat track, so the marbles would just kind of sit there if I didn't boost the whole thing. Anyway, it's all low boost. It's one boost, so hopefully the marbles don't fly out as they're going around because I want to see them do at least two laps. So anyway, uh, the way I'm going to set up some laps is we got this little racing tab down in the right corner, and uh, I think I'm just going to do three laps for now, and that should be good now i need to spawn the marbles hopefully they don't move anywhere or or are they moving i don't even know can we just start the race oh there we go started the race and now here we go the marbles are about to go and i'm going to lock on to the leader and we're no longer following the leader look at this we can jump around between marbles this is amazing oh my gosh we can see which place is where and look at that i just found out that the marbles will hit the checkpoints so gotta be careful of that as you can see it just happened again but look at this we can follow a which is right behind b and oh here we go this is the last lap and we're gonna be able to see who wins and obviously it's going to be b and oh wait i forgot there's three laps <laughs> okay um <clears throat> actually wow uh I, I i guess i messed up somewhere um yeah it still says lap one of three so uh not sure how that works <laughs> um you know what something over here could be yeah, yeah, yeah okay so i have this over here and i'm gonna delete that that is probably my problem so let's try this one more time start the race three two one it's just longer than that. It's like five seconds. All right, three, two, one. The race is going. Hopefully, hopefully this works now. Uh, look at that. B sneaks out in front again. Oh, look at that. Lap two of three. Okay, so I had a checkpoint over there, which made it not work. So now we're on to the third lap, and I'm just going to jump to the race leader here, which is once again B, and boom, B has won it once again all right so that is it we are now going to set up an actual racetrack i want to make something cool um i'm not sure what that's going to be yet but i'm just going to go ahead and delete everything i have here now that i know how all of that works oh another cool thing we got a bunch of new marbles and skins so it looks like we got some metal skins here which is pretty cool now that i'm seeing it we got uh some gold silver and bronze so that's pretty cool uh, we got some striped uh, checkerboard paint, and then we also have some new marbles. So looking down here, I'm going to go ahead and grab a marble spawner, and we can see the new marbles. I'm just going to check them all 
Here we go. Look at all of these. Wow, there's a plasma blue now. I love it. We got lime. We've got, man, that's really similar. It's like a hot pink. I think that's hot pink. Anyway, let's go ahead and spawn them in. Oh, well, that's not the way to do that. Um, also, I'm going to erase all these. I'm going to have to redo that. Anyway, here we go. New marbles. Oh my gosh, they auto get marble names now. Uh, so it's going to be kind of hard to see these. Let me just get in close here. Maybe we can get a better view. So that looks pretty cool. So that's like a dark gold. That's like a light yellow. I got some really awesome marble colors in here. Definitely loving that blue. Look at that. It looks like some kind of dragon breath. Anyway, it is time. Let's do this. We are going to be making a racetrack. And we are going to start out with our race spawner. So I'd really like to do a mix of both styles, kind of like a circuit track mixed with a marble run that I normally make. And what I mean by that is I want to have sections that actually uh, disturb, uh, how do I say, I just want them to stop the marbles. Like I, I want obstacles, you know, place stuff all over the place and have the marbles hit them and hopefully they'll switch positions, stuff like that. Mixed with maybe some straights, maybe a jump in there somewhere, that'd be kind of cool uh but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and start building i'm just gonna build this whole track and then hopefully we can have a pretty cool race after. track has been laid out now i do need to paint it and i do need to go back and add a bunch of obstacles for the marbles to get over similar to these ones here as you can see that marble almost flew out of the track uh i might block that in just to make sure that they don't go out of the track but then i have another section here where the marbles have to make their way through and i think i want to add that to a few more parts of the track just to make it half racetrack half marble run and uh we should be able to see which marble will make it through first so i got a little bit more work to do but then as soon as that is all done then we will have our first race all right, ladies and gentlemen, the track is finally complete. It is all painted. I felt that being a raceway, it had to be red and black. We have a couple obstacles all over the place. I'm just going to start at the beginning and kind of show off everything that I did while the marbles are running so you can see it in action. Uh, I got a couple embedded uh, triangles here, which kind of send the marbles in different directions. Yet, they, if they have enough speed, they can go right over top, as you can see. Moving on to the funnel. The marbles will roll around the funnel. Whoever makes it through first will then go down to the diamond straight. After the diamond straight, we have a slight curve and then a hard U-turn. They go right into some triangles that send them back and forth. And then we have the vertical section, which will send the marbles kind of all over the place. As you can see, if the marbles don't carefully take this area, they can get kind of stuck, as you see right there. Moving on to the jump, the marbles then do a pretty wicked jump some of them if they don't get enough speed they can actually fall down and it has happened several times so there are some hazards on this track moving on to the elevator the marbles will then go up the elevator and find themselves at the top of the track to which there are a couple more obstacles like the tires here this is part of the new update as well super cool so some of the marbles hit them some of them can make it past and then we go down to the last u-turn after a slight snake and a small drop down which will bring the marbles to a finish now we are going to be doing multiple laps so the first one to get here the first time won't necessarily be the winner anything can happen on this course i've seen it a few times so anyway i'm going to reset it now and uh we're going to pick some marble colors as you can see i got a ton of marbles placed on here uh we're going to be racing with about 71 of them but i think i need to do a few well, maybe not 71. I think we should do one of every color. So I'm just gonna do it in order. Marble two, marble three. So I'm gonna go through and make every single color uh, for this starting lineup, and then we will start the race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get this race underway. As you can see, I have added checkpoints all throughout the race, so that way the race can stay up to date on who is in first place and who is not. We are going to start here in a few seconds. Go ahead and pick whichever color you think is going to win. As you can see, I have named them all. So pick your favorite color and we are going to start the race now. Here we go. The lights are lighting up. Let me get a view of this. There they are. And here we go. I'm going to follow along with the leader. It looks like blue is currently in the lead. Ooh, now purple has shot out in front. 
I tried to make this track have a lot of opportunities for passing. As you can see, purple just got passed up by watermelon and orange. So now they are in the lead and we are going to see what happens with this race. And what's really cool about this update is we can actually follow any marble we really want after it updates the checkpoint. Looks like we just lost rainbow. Oh my God. I'm sorry. What? watermelon we've just lost watermelon watermelon just falls off the track did not have the speed for the jump looks like brown is now in the lead going through the snake area looks like gold jumps out in front as well this is a race ladies and gentlemen this is looking awesome holy cow so much has happened already and as you can see uh your favorite color on the side there you can see who is in what position Although it looks like we have lost a couple. I don't even see uh, the ones that we lost. Oh, it looks like Cyan is gone too. That's interesting. So we got Brown behind Cyan. Will Brown be able to catch up? Who knows? I'm going to follow along with the leader here. We are only in the lap two. So anything could happen. Looks like gold gets hung up a little bit. And uh, we are now going to see if anybody can even contest. Looks like Orange has jumped in front of Brown somehow. Not sure how that happened. And trying to get to up to Gold, but I don't even know if it's going to happen. Oh, it looks like Gold did mess up. Gold needs to hold on here. Looks like Orange did the same exact thing. Pink might almost got stuck back there. Very interesting. And we are now going into the funnel. This is where the race changes or can change drastically, but it does look like gold made it through. But orange actually goes through quicker. Orange is now the race leader. Holy cow, this race. This is incredible. So it looks like gold is now trying to catch orange. Will gold be able to do it? We'll have to see. This is a very interesting race. Holy cow. Uh, I don't know how many competitors we even have. I know we lost a few marbles down there. Oh, it looks like Mushroom got stuck and we got another one stuck up here. Will Orange help out Metal Blue? It looks like he will. Oh my gosh, probably should have put boosters in that area, but hey, anything can happen on the racetrack. It looks like Metal Blue is now in front, maybe? Oh, Metal Blue is actually a lap behind. So Orange is still the race leader, even though Metal Blue is in front. Wow, very interesting. We are now on to lap four out of five. Who is there? Gold still hung up in the funnel. Can anybody catch orange? Holy cow. Orange is flying through this track. But remember, anything can happen. Orange can get stuck at any time. Things can definitely change, but right now they are looking very good for orange. Uh, now moving on, almost on the lap five. I'm going to back up and see where gold is at. Gold has got a lot of ground to make up here. I'm not sure if it's even going to have a chance. There goes orange passing the beginning once again. I mean, at this point, uh, it looks like it's trying to race metal blue, even though it's a, a whole lap ahead. But we'll see if that happens. <laughs> I'm assuming metal blue, uh, besides the ones that are not going to finish this race, is uh, is in last place right now for those that are still on the track. So still following Orange here. Oh no, Orange messes up. Oh, and then it doesn't have the speed. It looks like, oh, Checker. Gold is behind Checker now. Oh my gosh, what has happened? Oh, wow, I don't even, there it goes. Checker just hit a checkpoint. It is now the race leader. As I said, anything can happen in this race. This is the final lap. We will have to see if Checker can make it all the way. Is getting hung up there. I don't know if anybody... Oh, Honeycomb might have a chance here. Probably not. Checker is pretty far ahead. It's moving down and does win the race. Wow. I was not expecting such an upset. That is crazy. Looks like Gold got stuck here as well. Incredible. Oh, and we can see the final finishers. Honeycomb just passed. It looks like Mushroom finally got unstuck, but actually probably has a couple laps to go, so might not any be anywhere near on the leaderboard. It looks like Bronze is actually the next marble to finish. So it looks like we have Checker, Honeycomb, then Bronze. What a race this was. Holy cow, I am loving this update. 
definitely tons of potential definitely going to be making more racetracks in the future let me know what you guys thought about this racetrack anyway hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to hit the subscribe and i will see you all in the next one peace